Good day, guys. Yeah, welcome back to our chemistry class. Today is going to be the continuation of our mole concepts, the lesson three of it. If you could recall in the lesson one, we were able to look at four formulae for calculating mole. And the second lesson, we look at the application of the second formulae. Today, we're going to look at one of the formula as well and look at the application of it. Before we dive into this successfully, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. If you are a, our user member, I say thank you for believing in me. Now, let's proceed. Example one, calculate the volume occupied by three moles of carbon dioxide gas at STP. Don't forget, STP means standard temperature and pressure. Now, calculate the volume occupied by three moles of carbon dioxide. So we want to calculate volume. Volume of carbon dioxide is unknown. Is unknown. Given the mole of carbon dioxide, that is the amount of that carbon dioxide. An amount is represented with N, amount of carbon dioxide is given as three mole. Now, many looking at our formula, we can see that the one that contains the volume and number, that is the amount, actually we are going to have number of mole, that is the amount, is equal to volume of gas divided by gram molar volume. And we know that gram molar volume it will be either 22.4 decimeter cube or 22,400 centimeter cube. Now, the number of mole is 3. Is equals to the volume now is volume of carbon dioxide, the gram molar volume 22.4. And we can as well use 22,400 centimeter cube. When you cross multiply, we have volume of carbon dioxide is equal to 3 multiplied by 22.4, which gives that is two. That is sixty-seven point two. The volume is decimeter cube because we are we, we use only two point four decimeter cube in this place. Example two: Calculate how many grams of gas are present in five thousand six hundred centimeter cube of chlorine gas at STP. Why the atomic mass of chlorine is thirty-five point five? Now, how many grams? Don't forget, when we say gram, we're talking about mass. Mass of gas is unknown. Our presence in 5,000 centimeter cube of chlorine, anything in centimeter cube, you know, is volume. Volume of chlorine is 5,600 centimeter cube. Now, here, when we have mass of gas, don't forget, this gas is chlorine. Let us put it to the chlorine. The gas is chlorine. And the volume of chlorine is given to be 5,600 centimeter cube. When you're looking at the formula of amounts, the one that contains mass and the one that contains volume, we are going to be talking about two formulae. Now, the first one is number amount equals to mass over molar mass, while the second one is number, which is amount equals to volume of gas over gram molar volume. Now, from here, we, we are to calculate mass. We can get our molar mass. Let us get the molar mass. Molar mass of chlorine. Chlorine is Cl2. One of the chlorine is 35.5 multiplied by 2. We have 71 grams per mole. That is the units. Now, we know the value, volume of chlorine now, we know it. The gram molar volume, the gram molar volume in this case is going to be 22,400 centimeter cube. Since this volume of chlorine is in centimeter cube. Now, from here, we don't need this amount, which is the number of mole. We can equate this together by saying mass over molar mass is equals to volume of chlorine over gram molar volume. Now, we are to calculate the mass of chlorine. 
mass of chlorine will equal to molar mass multiplied by volume of chlorine divided by gram molar volume. Don't forget this is mass of chlorine. And we have to understand something here. That chlorine is written as Cl2, which is diatomic gas. Now from here, mass of chlorine equals to the molar mass of chlorine we calculated is 71 multiplied by volume of chlorine 5600 divided by the gram molar volume is 22,400. So mass of chlorine. So when you multiply and divide, we have 17.8 grams. So this is the mass of the chlorine in this equation. Example three, calculate the number of molecules of hydrogen gas present in 2.24 dm cube of the gas at STP. Let's look at the interpretation. Calculate the number of molecules. Don't forget, when we say number of molecules, we're talking about number of particles. Number of particles is unknown of hydrogen gas present in 2.24 dm cube of the gas. Anything in dm cube we know is volume. Volume of hydrogen equals to 2.24 decimeter cube. Now we have two values, which is giving us two different definitions. Two different definitions of amounts. The first one is talking about number of particles, which we know that the formula is N equals to number of particles divided by Avogadro's constants. While the second one, number equals, that amount equals to volume of gas over gram molar volume. Now in this case, we are to calculate the number of particles. We know that our L, which is Avogadro's constant, is constant. 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Then volume of gas, we have been given to be 2.24. Then we can get our gram molar volume. Since this one is decimeter cube, our gram molar volume will also be in decimeter, which is 22.4 decimeter cube. Now, let us equate this equation together. We have our particles now is the molecule, number of molecules, divided by Gadot's constant, is equals to volume of hydrogen now, volume of hydrogen divided by gram molar volume. Now, I'm to calculate the number of particles, number of molecules, when you cross multiply, we equal to L multiplied by volume of hydrogen divided by GMV. So our L is constant, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Volume of hydrogen given to us is 2.24 divided by gram molar volume, 22.4. So when we multiply and divide what we have, 6.02 times 10 to the power 22. So this is our number of molecules. So if any question is given to you in more concepts, you have to note the parameter given to you and to relate the formula, formula. Look at the formula to use. It may be a single formula or two of the formula. So in this case, this is the way to go in solving more concepts. We are going to meet in the next class when we'll be talking about the application of more concepts in writing and balancing of chemical equations. I remain Latif Ismaila Akambi, your mathematics and chemistry tutor. If you are a new member on this channel, Kindly subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Do not forget to share to other learners for them to benefit. Thank you.